Welcome to SSP TV Community News. I'm Lisa Sugart. Today we are here in downtown Hazleton, inside the beautiful Hazleton Art League at the Hayden Family Center for the Arts. We came to invite you to come along with us to see the beautiful happenings inside and to find out about the many activities that are taking place. I'm very pleased to be here with the Executive Director of the Hazleton Art League, Mark Peterson. Mark, you have been here now for quite a while. I mean, I know you're still new, but uh, you know what you're doing because there's a lot happening here. There is a lot happening, Lisa, and thank you so much for being here. Welcome to the Hazleton Art League, located at the Hayden Family Center for the Arts at 31 West Broad Street in beautiful downtown Hazleton. We have so much going on. Right now, we have artists working in our ceramic studio. Studio. We have artists doing painting and drawing. We have so many classes. We have classes for kids. We have classes for um, computer art. I mean, the list goes on and on. Wow, that's amazing. And if you haven't been in here, let me tell you, this is beautiful. It is really a hidden gem in downtown Hazleton. Now, we also understand that you are having some summer art camps happening here at the Hazleton Art League. So tell us about that. Well, that, that's really exciting. And between June, uh, June 19th to August 18th, we are having our eight weeks of summer art camp. The week of July 4th, we're off. And this year's theme is going to be Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, the Uncommon Commonwealth, and each week is going to be a different aspect of Pennsylvania. We're going to talk about the first people who uh, are living in Pennsylvania, the Lenny Lenape. We're going to talk about the dinosaurs that were walking the earth in Pennsylvania. We're going to talk about the coal industry. We're going to talk about the Liberty Bell. We're going to talk about all these cool things. And the kids are going to take that information and interpret them in an artistic way by doing collage, painting, drawing, uh, computer-generated art, so many different things. And we're going to be partnering with the PTPA. We're going to be having some musical things happening here. We're doing a field trip to uh, Nescapec State Park. Uh, we are going to be doing a field trip to the Everhart Museum. I mean, there is a lot going on, and it's all going to take place here at the Hazleton Art League from June 19th through August 18th. Now, how do they sign up? Is there a deadline? What ages is, is this camp for? Well, the good news is you can sign up at just about any time. Um, the classes will, we're starting to register kids right now. So you can go to our website at www.hazeltonartleague.org, O-R-G, and you can get that information in English, in Spanish, in French, and Ukrainian. Now, Art Youth Expo, I'm very familiar with that. That's been going on for quite a few years in the downtown. You're expanding upon that, making that even bigger and better so that's happening in June but you need to get details out now because you need art for the Art Youth Expo. Exactly so the Art Youth Expo is highlighting the artwork of children from the age of 13 to adults to the age of 30 and we have May 21st and May 28th as deadlines to get the artwork here so that we can prepare for the exhibition. We really expect a big turnout for this. And the artwork is all different kinds, photography, um, it's representational art, it's abstract art. The, just check the website for all of the different details and you could register online as well. And each uh, participant is able to, um, to provide three works of art and there are prizes. So keep that in mind, bring your best and we look forward to seeing what kind of art we have. You never know what you're going to get when you have so many different people contributing. So people could drop off their art to participate. However, you want the whole community to come out to this. So they need to mark it on their calendar because there's a lot happening when this is taking place. Exactly. It's going to take place June 2nd from 6 to 9. That is the first evening. And we're going to have the, the opening and there's going to be um, a poetry jam and so many fun things going on. And then the following day, Saturday, June 3rd, we have bands. We have people doing um, chalk art. We have things going on in various different locations, Lackawanna College, the hub just down the street right outside in our uh, can-do community park. There's a lot going on. And the thing is, we want you to come here, and not just you. Bring your friends. Bring your family. It's going to be a great time. 
There's so much more happening here. We could go on for a long time, but I know you wanted to invite people to go on a special bus trip. You're taking them away from Hazleton, but for a very good reason. Yes, indeed. Now, this is something really special. A lot of people don't realize this, but Hazleton is the, uh, the birthplace of Judith Joy Ross, who is a well-known photographer, and she exhibited here at the Hazleton Art League prior to exhibiting at the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. So we had Judith Joy Ross here first, but now her photography is going on tour. It started in Madrid, it went to Paris, then it went to The Hague in the Netherlands, now it's coming to Philadelphia. And so on Saturday, June 24th, we are organizing a bus trip going to the Philadelphia Museum of Art to see the artwork of Judith Joy Ross, the photography. I keep saying artwork because her photography is so amazing. She uses a large format camera and some of the things that she's taken pictures of, the, the, the expressions on the people's faces are absolutely amazing. And the, one of my favorite of her series is one that she did of Urena Park. And so a lot of the people she did back in the day are still around, but they may not know that their image has been hanging in mu museums in Madrid, Paris, The Hague, and now Philadelphia. For all the information, they should go to your website? Yes, the website is www.hazeltonartleague.org. You can also call us at 570-455-3333. Y por la gente que se habla español, hablo español también, entonces no hay ningún problema hablando conmigo. If you speak Spanish, don't worry, because I can speak Spanish too. And it is so easy to become a member. I really want everybody to be a part of the Hazleton Art League because this is your home for the arts. This is such a creative place. You can do ceramics, painting, etc., etc. But please become a member. It's only $25 for the year for an adult, $10 for the year for a child. And if you have a family membership, it's $50 for the year. So you get all the information we have. You get discounts on certain classes and things that we do. I highly encourage everybody to become a member of the Hazleton Art League and contribute to the arts. And if you don't want to be a member, there's nothing to stop you from making a donation. We have artists that you would find in any major museum around the world. And it's right here in Hazleton. And we change our exhibitions every month. Our gallery hours are Tuesday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturday and Sunday, 1 to 4. We're closed on Mondays, but we invite you to come back anytime.